Guys, I love you, and I want to see you. And if you're watching this, I hope that you love me too. I tour the world doing stand-up comedy, and if you've seen me, you've had a good time. I know that. And if you haven't seen me, come see me and have a good time. All my tour dates are up right now, and I start touring very soon again, October 14th and 15th for the first time ever. I'm up at Canada. I've been asked to come to Canada for like seven years, and I have not been there. I'm playing Hamilton and Toronto. Toronto has actually showed up so much that we added a second show. Um, Richmond, Virginia, and Hershey, Pennsylvania, October 28th and 29th. Hershey, Pennsylvania, we, we're sold out, and we had to add a second show. Richmond, Virginia, I've never been there Gatto was just there. He had a great time. He told me he was going to plug my shows in Richmond while he was on stage. I don't know if he did. If you saw him, write to me and let me know if he lied to me. But I will <laughs> I'm excited about Richmond. Now we're moving on to November. In November, I have a banging weekend on the 11th, 12th, and 13th. I am in Knoxville. Can't wait to come to Knoxville. I did Nashville, and I did... Um, uh, what's the other place in, in Tennessee that I did? Not Memphis. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, you guys always come out hard. I'm so excited to, to go to Knoxville. Um, Atlanta, my first time solo in Atlanta. I'm so excited. We added a second show in Atlanta. Atlanta and Phoenix are the two places that I get requested the most. Atlanta, I heard you. I'm coming. We added a show at the Center Stage Theater on November 12th. November 13th, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Also a first time. I love Birmingham. My boy Roy Wood Jr. reps Birmingham, and I can't wait to come down there at the, uh, the Alabama Theater. November 18th and 19th. These are uh, shows that were postponed from the pandemic, and I cannot wait to get to Louisville, and I keep being told I'm pronouncing that wrong. Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. Um, I'm so excited to go to Louisville uh, on uh, the 18th of November at the Brown Theater, and then the Evans uh, in Evansville, Indiana, home of Don Mattingly Victory Theater on November 19th. And I round off December in Florida and California, and I hope you come. Uh, December, big weekend in Florida, December 2nd, 3rd, and 4th uh, at Jacksonville. Jacksonville, never been there. Excited. I'm playing the Florida theater. If you know someone in Jacksonville or Florida, let them know. Tampa, we're adding a second show December 3rd at the Tampa Theater. Tampa comes out huge. Adding a second show there. Thank you. And then Orlando, Florida. Hard Rock Live in Orlando is going to be a banger. Orlando's fun. The Hard Rock's fun. I'm fun. That's a triple whammy. December 16th. This is my last tour dates of the year in uh, Northern California. Sacramento. Uh, on December 16th at the Crest Theater. Uh, San Jose, which I'm... By the way, San Jose... Shout out to my boy, my boy, my gal, whatever you want to, my, my girl, Bailey, um, my buddy, Pam, who is from San Jose, Rep San Jose, I have family in San Jose, I can't wait to see them at the San Jose Civic Theater on December 17th, and Santa Rosa, California, never been there in my life, so excited on December 18th, look, if you didn't want to hear all those dates, you could have skipped it. But I rather, I'd rather talk to you conversationally and tell you my feelings instead of always just being like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So that's why we extended this one. If you don't like it, you could just hit the skip button. But if you do, I appreciate you listening. Tell a friend that I'm coming to this city. Uh, and stay in school. Pass on grass. <laughs> JoeDeRoseInfo.com for your uh, show information, ticket links, all that stuff. Coming up next, October, we got Dead Crow Comedy Club in North Carolina. In November, I'll be going to Michigan to do a bunch of shows. And I've got tons of other stuff around that stuff and after that stuff and coming up in the new year and all that. Anyway, you can find all of it at JoeDeRosaInfo.com. Also, if you're in New York City, please come to my bar and sandwich shop, Joey Roses. Uh, all info for there is JoeyRosesNYC.com. We're open sa six days a week, opening at 12 p.m. every day. Great sandwiches, awesome hang, and lots of booze. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste bud. Here we go, man. Hey, folks. It's T-A-S-T-E, -S -S -E, buds. Where the buds are back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went a, couple, a week without me? Possibly two weeks, but we might not have that. We might have lost that that one. Who did you might have lose? You and Soder? We might have lost this me and Soda. Oh, episode. And Soda, if you're watching, oh, and we know that you are. There's a good shot we didn't. There's a good shot we didn't. Okay, hopefully we didn't. It was a hot episode. <laughs> it's coming up. It's casseroles versus salads. Uh, salads. So he, broad. I always thought he was garbage. He's f garbage, dude. He's a key. Yeah, you too. Trash. I mean, he. But he's self-admitted, right? 
Oh, no, he embraces it. Yeah, but I so mean, don't, and aren't you? Well, <laughs> you should hear the way he talks about casseroles. It was, it's disturbing. Yeah. It's disturbing. Does he okay. have an affinity for them, or he was against them? An affinity, That's, and he actually thinks that they're like a, 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 like a, a, an actual like food group. Like. That's all I need to know. <laughs> can, I, can I say <laughs> something? I, I, don't, I don't remember... Not only the last time I ever had a casserole. Thanksgiving. I don't know if I've had a casserole. You haven't had a green And beer? I've never cooked a casserole. Oh, no. Oh, green bean, <laughs> green bean casserole? casserole? What's that? Thanksgiving. Green bean casserole, a little almondine up top. Yeah. That's the one. That's, no, that's, that's string beans almondine. Well, you do string beans almondine. It's different. The casserole's got the, it's got the juices. It's, it's wetter. It, what, is, what, is, what constitutes a casserole? Uh, gross. It's all, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put food in a dish. I mean, I mean he's, he's a box meal hobo. Like, he, <laughs> he like, dumps like, he's, he's a box <laughs> meal hobo. Oh, true box hero. I need a <laughs> box <laughs> meal <laughs> hero. And he doesn't get a Lunchables uh, <laughs> thing off that? <laughs> <laughs> or like... <laughs> Box Meal Hobo is saying to Jukebox Hero is this. Okay. We should have someone re record it and send it to Soda. By the way, Joe Gatto, welcome to the f- show. Hey, so How great is this? This is great. Thank you How so great much. Is this, man? I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah we're happy you're here. I'm so happy like, you're here. Thank you, Val. Good to yeah. see you. So here we go. The term casserole can refer to any dish prepared in a casserole dish. Oh. That's, the, that's it? <laughs> Essentially a deep, wide baking dish and baked in the oven. A casserole can have layers, as uh, in the case of an Italian lasagna. Lasagna is a casserole. It is? Technically, yeah. <coughs> oh, all right. Yes, both that, blown. Was, that was the one that's that it. Well, I if said, you're going to stand on that leg, that's what you got. I was like, after a was, deep dish pizza is a casserole, though. They're playing fast. No, and stop. No. These, stop. Yeah. The, no, I, I said that lasagna is the one acceptable meal casserole. Yep. And then I also said green bean casserole at Thanksgiving is amazing. Yeah. I I didn't right. realize lasagna was a casserole. But then a, a pot pie falls in a casserole as well, then. <laughs> it, it, it just says it's composed of like a veggie, a protein, yeah. Yeah. a veggie, a protein, and a starch in a bowl, basically. Yeah. Seems oh. like. I it guess seems I, like I, fast and loose. I, I don't remember. Dude, I don't remember. I don't feel like people are like, here, I made casserole tonight. I, maybe I've had casserole when I haven't realized it. In the 50s, they did. Casserole, casserole was all huge, right? In the 50s. I'll he come over my wife's making it. a casserole. What'd you have for dinner last night? My wife casserole. made a casserole. Blow yeah, your balls off. very mad man. <laughs> for sure. Super manly. Very yeah. mad man. Very mad man. He, 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 was, he was deep throat and fucking casseroles <laughs> all the time, John Ham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was the season, Remember the season finale of three? It was how many casseroles could he eat. That's right. And then they got the big, they lost a big account of Delta. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a food that it's it. What was that casserole he defended? Turkey? What was it? Turkey? Dude, he, first of all, he went hard on tuna casserole, <laughs> oh. which is disgusting. Oh, that the the name. tuna, tuna melt. I, 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 I literally, no, have, I just upsetting. got goosebumps oh. when you said that. Oh my God. Literally, yeah. it's upsetting. It's upsetting. What's in a tuna casserole? Tuna. Is the main dish. <laughs> but yeah. what else? Tuna, Jeez, right? some kind of creaminess. Creaminess, yeah. I know, dude. It's, 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 look at that, dude. Look at that. No, come on. Ten no. worst rated casseroles that in the cannot, world. That looks that like a ha- <laughs> egg, pepper, <laughs> olive. That looks like. What? Oh, uh, That looks like my dog threw up. That's exactly what that looks like. That does look like vomit of a dog. It looks like what? a bunt cake. Hold on. What are the, by the way, for the viewers at home, I, I my fingers wrapped because I cut it coming into the building on the door today. That's why I have a thing on my finger. What is the white stuff that's not egg? What are those white things? Hearts of Palm. Is that a water chest? Oh, are you kidding me? Hearts Joe. Of palm. I was going to say a water chest. Oh, my God. Wait, can what you is just that? Go- wait, Pip, Pip, wait, do go- not go too fast. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go, wait let's go oh. back to the bun cake. <laughs> that looks like, it literally looks like you took, you swiped at anything you could grab. Yeah. And just molded it. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like a looks garbage plate like, casserole. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like, I, oh, my God. I don't know. A Hearts of Palm should never live in a casserole. Also, like, we're getting a little cute with the bunt ring. No? <laughs> Just make that it doesn't count as a casserole. That's a bunt. Make it in a thing. Cut a square that of it. But that, that wasn't made. That literally is what defines a casserole, is a casserole dish. Yeah. That's not a casserole. Well, they probably, they probably popped it out of the dish, maybe. Then. No, okay. no it's a bunt cake dish. was made in a bunt cake dish. That's yeah. not a casserole. All right, well, we need to write a stern letter to this website. <laughs> Technically, that's a... What is this? Chicone or gra- gratin? Yeah. That's is a, that a crab? Is that a fish? Chicone? Braised? No, it's Belgian endives dish. that are rolled in ham. Ugh. Oh, it's just endives? Oh. It's, it's traditionally... Again, that's a, not a casserole. Yeah. This is, this is, this is not a good website that you've done here. That's a, that's a f- casserole yeah. right there. Right. What is that? Hot dish? 
Uh, Ew, hot dish. Uh, oh. Sounds like a term for taking a dump. It's never a good sign when the casserole when the casserole just has a name. Yeah. that has nothing to do with the food, and, and it's famous for to being from North Dakota. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's 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 when you're ashamed to tell anybody what's in it. Yeah, is that what would you make? Yeah, it's a hot, it's a hot oh dish. Oh my god, look at that, dude! I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna barf. Tetrazzini. I, that's barf. one of my dog's names. <laughs> <laughs> this may be a case of Joe has 18, 18 dogs 26. and they're all named. He has 26. 26? I haven't seen you in a minute. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. Joe has gone from, well, naturally from one dog to 26, but you, you had like six for a while, maybe eight. Yeah. Then That's I how remember it works. <laughs> you cracked like 12, but you were hovering there. Yeah. Then I remember you hit 18 and we were like, well, should we talk to him? <laughs> and then now you have, he has 26 dogs. 26. Yeah. And they're all named after pastries. <laughs> and Italian dishes. Yeah. We had to expand. I'm going to name the next one hot dish. <laughs> Hot dish is a great name. A good he, name. He, he 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 adopts the dogs when they're on their way out. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. No, they're actually, I ones. knew that about you. Yeah. That's a really nice thing that you do. I like to have a morbid home. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> they that's call that, that's what you could devote your time to. We do a podcast about <laughs> pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do a podcast about stupid shit too. I fit that in. Don't worry, buddy. I'm in, I'm in the scene. Yeah, uh, that's very that's it, that's amazing. The, the, all the local hospitals know when they're in the middle of a defib with the dogs, they call Joe. They're like, "We're we're gonna bring them back to life. You want to take them?" I'm like, "Let me let me listen." In the background, you hear beep beep beep. I'm like, "Too much. <laughs> it's too active for me." That's so okay. funny. When you get a beep, that, that's when I want to. Yeah. Joe just yeah. brings them home, lays them down, and then just that afternoon, he just watches them pass. <laughs> I'm like, come here, here's a pillow. All right, let's go. Right to you the 26 vet. dogs all stuffed. Yeah, they're all. Yeah. I, I wanted to, I wanted to, my nephew was really scared of one of my dogs, and I wanted to for Christmas. It died by Christmas. I really wanted to get it stuffed and wrap it and give it to him. Oh, for Christmas my gift. God. Tell me that'd be phenomenal. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, uh, uh, They you, wouldn't let me do it. Uh, do it. Who's they? My sister Carla talks to me uh, about it. She's like, you'll, you'll torture him. And I was like, it's, he was 16. No, but honestly, that is the funniest thing. <laughs> I think that would be like of legend. Yeah. But will they stuff a dog? Uh, probably. Do yeah. people stuff the I, Taxidermist? Don't yeah. you feel like you'd hear more like people being like, I, I didn't want to let him go. I stuffed my dog. I think you would. I don't hear that. I, but I'm sure people do it. I mean, people people a thousand percent do it. I've never met anybody. Yeah, nobody Q, in our circles. Q, uh, Q's looking into cloning his cat. I think, right? Shut up. I think he is. Shut up. <laughs> he found that thing in a can. <laughs> <laughs> he found that in a hot dish. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he, he doesn't want it to become about? a hot dish ingredient. Yeah. Um, no, I no, but he he's, in, I mean, that cat, it, the, the one, the Benjamin, Benjamin is like, yeah. if, like, I don't know, he, that's like the most important things to him in the world. Yeah. Benjamin's my biscotti. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, who's biscotti? My dog. My first rescue dog. <laughs> right, right. rescue biscotti. That's the, uh, messed up because isn't your first dog not biscotti? Yes, yeah, my second dog. Your first dog is cannoli. cannoli. Cannoli, but cannoli was bought. She's a diva. She's got an attitude. Right, right, I get right. all the-, the uh I'm gonna take a sip of whiskey here. Oh yeah. Because I'm hitting hair. Out of the, the bottle dog. then, yeah? Because I couldn't because <laughs> because Get this cups. Because we're in the apartment you want to talk about a fucking pig lineage. This place was <laughs> passed down to Chris Stefano. I didn't realize. This is a animal farm, this place. There's no classes. Yeah. There's no classes here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to burn this outfit for sitting on this couch. And I walked into this, and I thought it was a hostel. It's, 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 this, this place is... Well, there's nothing here. ...an atrocity. <laughs> Look at this couch. This is a couch that was bought by a millionaire. <laughs> This is a very expensive couch. There is no way. I promise you that. There's no way. It's expensive. We, it's super expensive yeah. couch. Ca- expensive I, couches you, don't come in this color. Okay. They I'll just t- don't. <laughs> they just don't. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I have a handle Royal on blue. about how much this couch is. You want to take a guess? 1500 max. Max. Are you? Were you born in the United States of America? Yeah, yeah you should stand up Are so you I can not, understand this you. This is an Ikea couch. Are no. you insane? This is, a, this is a cloud couch from Restoration Hallway. This couch is $20,000. Fifteen hundred dollars. You can't you, get that in box. Petey, you got had, buddy. You, you can't. You got had. Fifteen hundred. You better go down to Ashley. <laughs> My God, go you, you this is get... the casserole of couches. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's made of all down. This it's is, called the cloud couch. Yeah. I'll tell you something right now, though. It, some versions are better than others because this couch is very, very uncomfortable to me. Yeah, really. You've made a weird pillow foot in the corner as well. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't. 
it's the depth is off and, yeah. the, and then you sink in. It gets all like weird. But I am. It, it's great in theory. Everyone always says, oh, I, lo- I have one of these. Yeah. Upstairs. It's the one upstairs. Right. Like uh, in, the, in the second floor of the, of the, of the apartment. It's the one we sit on for the podcast? No, no, in the other room. Okay, okay. But it's okay. it's a smaller version, but it's a different... I don't know, dude. We're, we're really talking about this couch. <laughs> right. I do want to know... The fact much... that you think this is a 1500 is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. This is my an Ikea life. couch to me. What? This is down in here. This is... You know how many goose died yeah. for this couch? <laughs> this is like this is like Ontario. I had. What couch has it... Not, I mean, I don't mean with them. I mean with anybody. Who has it? If you have a couch and you're dating somebody, you've banged on your couch. Well, not for yourself. Really? You, you lived on your couch, right? <laughs> you had a couch. You only had a couch. You'd my have a couch, bed. Actually, my couch was my bed. Yeah, you had a bouch. For right? nine years, I had a bouch. Yeah. So he didn't have a bed in his home. Check. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I know. So I, that yeah. was speaking of hostels. That yeah. was the situation he had for nine years of his life of adulthood. <laughs> I don't know if people kid, know that. This kid, oh, really? I, this kid I, I, I talk is, about it on stage. So, so let's talk. Let's let's talk trash for a second. The this guy who's kid. the guy who's holding an open bottle of Jack <laughs> and actively bleeding wants to talk trash on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a crime scene right now. You look like you look like an extra. You, you have. Like the back of like a Law and Order SVU like scene. You have the sack to call Soda a hobo. You literally look at you. You're a hot trash hero. Hot trash hero. <laughs> Santino today goes. He goes. Why? Do, do, does he like Staten Island? <laughs> he was so perplexed by it. Really? Who? Who? Andrew Santino today. Who? Say Andrew Santino. No, what does who like it? You! I go, oh, I'm, me? I go, I'm driving up to that Staten Island to, to record with Sal. He goes, why does he like Santino? I go, why? Because he doesn't know what nice things are. <laughs> he, <laughs> That's, I oh go, yeah, this is a mob. Can you ask? He's the that? richest man we know. He still lives in an apartment. He's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what nice things are. Splice that with him <laughs> criticizing me for only liking nice things. Please splice that. <laughs> Dude, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. I, I, I was talking to Santino today, driving out here. First of all, I'm hungover because Santino. Santino's where? Why isn't he on today? Last night he said he was gonna meet me at my bar. I didn't want to go to the bar. I didn't want to go, but I literally went because I go. I told Santino I'd meet him there. No show, no and call, went, no show. He no shows, and then I get no call, no show, no call, no show. Oh. Texted me, goes, I just woke up. I got to do a spot after I was already there for an hour. Ooh, uh, so I ended up hanging out and got pretty tanked up. It's my fault, but he he no called, no show, and then um, so then today, I'm talking to him, and he I go I go the fucking the fucking balls on this fucking Genzo over here. Sal Volcano. Half Hispanic. <clears throat> the better. I, I made mention of that in the phone call. I won't, <laughs> I won't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I go, this guy on a text thread yesterday goes, goes, oh shit, Bobby and Santina were out in Staten Island doing Chris's podcast the other day. Uh, it's going to be tough to get them to come back out to Staten Island. It's a shame. I go, this I've been driving out here weekly, weekly. for a year. He has never once expressed sympathy for it. <laughs> no. But Andrew said, you know, Bobby's like, oh, I hate to the ask these guys, guys no, to come out no, again. No, no, no. I didn't say I hate to ask them. I didn't think they would do it. I think it's out of the way for them. They're here for a finite for amount them. of time. They're here for a finite. <laughs> for they're here for a finite amount of time doing multiple podcasts, and the, the hub is the city. They have spots. I didn't think they take two treks out here, being that they're on a, this being our home and being our home base and a, a studio for us. I didn't think it's that bad. I come to the city. I come to Roses. I know. We're, no, but, no, but you know what? I know, but I, I, I still it took, get, it took so me two hours. Now? It took me two hours and 15 minutes to get here today. Not that anyone cares or asks. It took me two hours and 15 minutes to get here from Northern Long Island. I came from uh, Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> 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 I came from, I I came mean, from Long, Long Island. Island. What yeah. are you doing? I'm out Wait, there. Why yeah. are you living on Long Island? You're telling me things that I already know. You're saying words that I already hear in my head. I don't Add understand. value, Joe. Joe Add value. When you live in New York, live in Manhattan. You, I live in Manhattan for Joe, a long time. That's it. Joe, you <laughs> telling people how to live their lives is life. not. <laughs> the funniest joke that's ever been told in 100 episodes. Yeah. If there's one person on this couch, if you just put this on mute and said, who are you going to take advice from on this couch? <laughs> give, me give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that right now. Peace. 
bleeding from his hand. He's like, you guys need to listen to me. You don't know how to live your life. Let me tell you who's got to figure it out. Cheers. Cheers, Jack. <laughs> You're in Manhattan last night. Getting stood up by a friend for one hour at your own establishment. Oh, my God. That f***ing redheaded. What is he? Is he Italian? Santino? Or is he like Louis C.K. where he's Mexican? I think he, he has like a, a, a little bit of a mix in there, right? I think he might be Italian-Irish. Italian-Irish for mm. sure. But I thought also maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. No, I mean, I wish we would have known when they were here. We would have doubled up. Next time we'll try to double up with them. Also, Bobby's never been on anything either. Bobby Lee? Yeah. Yeah, but neither is... No, no, I don't mean this. I still, yeah. ha I still haven't been. I still haven't been. You're just talking about guests you'd rather have. I'm <laughs> here. So I'll just go fuck <laughs> myself. Great. Thanks, for, thanks for having me. I didn't thanks, say that. Let's talk about <laughs> assholes. Talk about who banged who on the couch. Talk about who's a shit show Listen. and who we rather would be here. I got to tell me or Bobby Lee. Oh, okay, we wish Bobby was here, but we've got... Joe, no, no. I I greatly no, three today. I greatly appreciate you making the trip for this today, especially given the fact that I would never drive to Long Island to do your podcast. Thank you, thank you. And I film in the city for that reason. I, would, I can't get Steve to come out to Long Island. I, I would be like, can we zoom? <laughs> we'll work with the delay. <laughs> so plug your podcast. You got a podcast. We love Steve Byrne. He's, He's the best. One of my best friends in the. World. Oh, he really doesn't care for you. So <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I was just in, I'm in his house in uh, 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 Nashville. Yep, yep. I went to visit him. I was I was on a road trip and I passed through. And uh, this is how nice a guy Steve is. Steve was like, I was like, this house is beautiful. And he goes, Yeah, dude, it's great. It's great. It's great. Um, you know, we bought it for this bunch. And he goes, It's appreciated to this. Bunch. He's like, You know, it's mm -hmm. just a good thing. But Steve's so nice that he immediately he goes. And, and that will drop. That'll drop. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's okay. He's trying to like good, undercut yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, it's a good He's thing. like, well, good things happen. Not, not all good things are happening to me. <laughs> As you're bleeding all over his couch, dragging your bottle of, of whiskey yeah. behind you. I'm sitting in his $500,000 kitchen and he's going, can you hook me up with your web guy? I go, I'm living in a fucking one bedroom. You fucking animal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, so, so you, and you and you 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 turn your nose at my three bedroom four bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, no apartment is more bathrooms than Sal's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking bathroom every two feet. I've never, I've never seen that many bathrooms. He also pees once a week, so I don't know why he needs so many bathrooms. I mean, the guy I'm friends with him thirty years. I seen him take a piss seven times. <laughs> seven times is pushing it. I'm, I'm rounding up. Sal lives in the only apartment I've ever seen that has more bathrooms than bedrooms. <laughs> Sal took out two bedrooms to put yeah. in a bath. It's a one bed, five bath. <laughs> okay. When I got to go, off. I got to go, and I don't like traveling far. <laughs> you take off his mattress, it's a bathtub under it. <laughs> it's a converted tub. <laughs> All right, so, so, so I think marshmallows are overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, that's the, so the, argue, the yeah. battle today. It's so. time for... Oh, no, 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 no. But, well, let's let, we're not. Let's announce what the battle okay. is. Okay. I mean, before, but yes, yeah, we should get. Sure, it's it. marshmallows versus. By the way, it's marshmallows. Mm -hmm. It's not marshmallows. That's what Malamar. That's why it's spelled Mal Malamar. Malamar, not okay. Melamar. Okay. Interesting, bro. So we're doing marshmallows versus caramel. Yeah. Which is interesting, because both are. I mean, f food is a strong. Term They're both things. confection. Yes. They could be had alone, as in a caramel cube or marshmallow. They could be had yes. in other forms, such as liquid. They could be drizzled on ice cream. They could be had in sandwiches and other things. And they're both fondues flavors. Like 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 you'll get a marshmallow coffee or, or a caramel flavored coffee or whatever. Yeah, I've never had a marshmallow right? coffee. There's like marshmallow flavored somethings. Like I feel like, well, you know what I'm thinking of? <clears throat> like hot chocolate. Yeah, well, s'more s'mores are rocky sure. road. They both show up in ice creams. You got a, you know, uh, right. Dolce de leche, and you've got a rocky road. You're right. That's true. So you right. And if you ever got a real fancy and you have a little brain on yourself, you made a s'mores, you might have drizzled some caramel on there. They go together, too. Caramel, caramel and marshmallow, and marshmallow can go together. Yeah. So here's, but here's what's. Toppings. Yes. Yes. Here's what's, yes, liquidy. Or ice cream <laughs> toppings and mini marshmallows. They both come in minis. You have the mini caramel chips. Yes. Right? They I will say marshmallows make an appearance in cereals. Caramel probably does too, actually. Uh, it's a good matchup. It's good. Yeah. I don't know, though, who in the godforsaken world doesn't like caramel. Well, I think as a general uh, sense of practice, 
there are people that are divided on marshmallows. That's what's interesting about today's battle, if I may, is so Gatto's here. Gatto's not going to battle. He's going to moderate, which we do sometimes. But he hates, and we, we're doing this again with, with some, with, I don't want to ruin it, but we, we got another episode coming up where we're going to do this with a guest. But uh, Gatto today is going to moderate. He hates oh, you don't like caramel. I don't like either. Oh, he I thought it was me and you both. versus him for a second there. No. How do you not? You both don't like caramel? I like caramel, but I'm team marshmallow. And you're oh, team I see. caramel. I don't think caramel's uh, marshmallow is good. I don't. Well, that's bullshit. You do because, and here's why. In the s'more, man. This is another thing that's interesting. We've I've argued against marshmallow in the s'more battle because I do think s'mores suck. Yeah, um, that's crazy. But that's a construction thing, more than anything. Else. Marshmallow. Okay, I don't like I don't like a lot of it. Beginning with just at face value, let's take the marshmallow standalone as it's supposed to be. All right, let's let's start the battle. Ready? Sure. Oh, all right. No chance today. Let's just do it. Ready? Yeah. Unless you want to do a chant. No. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay. Time for B A T T L. Buds. Wait, what? Shit. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Ready? Did you just. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I spelled it wrong. Sure. Sorry. Leave me alone. All right. Ready? Here yeah. we go. Time. You, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> you spelled it wrong. <laughs> How many times have you spelled it? How many times? Spelt it. Get your shit together. Spelt. S P E L T. Spelt. Like tuna spelt. Yes. It's, get up here What's and tuna get, spelt. Like a tuna melt. What is it spelt? <laughs> Listen, keep up, guys. I'll Wait, slow it down is, for is, everybody. Is spelt a word? Spelt. Yeah, E D. Spelled. Spelt. Yeah, all, right. all right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Ready. I'm ready. Time for B L M N O P. <laughs> Son of a bitch. B A T T L E Buds. All right. Keep go do the chance. <laughs> Don't, don't uh, worry, guys, the chance. Chants are part of the show. I, I love the chants. The chants are great. You need chants. It gets everybody fired up. You know what's happening now. <laughs> it takes me a minute to spell it out to make sure. So you're battling now? Is that what happens? Yes. Got it. I'm, I'm, I'm up to speed. We're into the battle. You could just say, let's battle or, or anything, but you want to spell it out? I like it for the dramatic effect. Go ahead. <laughs> Take a sip. Don't let me interrupt. I'm sorry. I mean, it's been Go a ahead. few weeks since you guys have gotten salty. It's been quite a few weeks. Oh, I, got, I already insulted him <laughs> I got for the first half hour. Him. I got salty for him today. We already insulted each other. Why for, we show Joe? We already insulted each other for wait, like wait, 10 you don't times think I know? You don't think I know how salty this guy is? I mean, seriously, he's the, literally the the human version of Oscar the Grouch, minus the garbage can. Like, he's walking around, he puts jeans on instead of a garbage can. He even wears garbage can colored pants for he's, people so he can blend in. He's the Dead Sea personified. <laughs> That's how salty he is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes we do a chant where we say, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty, to, to amp up the battle. Yeah. And then at the end of it, we immediately insult one another. Oh, okay, I got you. But yeah. we also, that came later. What came first is after we were fighting so much, he was like, I'm taking this home with me and I don't like it. So the first chant we did was, no matter what happens, I love you three times. Ah. And then we do the battle. And then we found out that it was like softening the battles. Okay. But- it's so, still- so this really bothers you when you talk about foods on a couch and people watch it on the internet. This it is gets, this way is heavy on you. It gets well, we wildly get wildly hot sometimes. Okay, well, you really should just take it down not because <laughs> the world has real problems and so do both of you that that's, I can list right now that are bigger than if a marshmallow that, or a caramel. Do, yeah. I gotta tell you though, the show would have been a flop otherwise. Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> people are like, I can't believe you guys get this mad about Tostitos. Oh yeah, the, you know what I mean. I like, saw the app. And that's yeah. <laughs> so that's what makes it work. Got it. Guys, if you are like me, then in the summer, you are hot. And when you go to bed, you're hot. I have a, actually a, a memory foam mattress that retains heat. I run hot. And a lot of times, if it's too warm, I sweat through the night. I hate it. I have to change my sheets the next day. Or if I crank up the AC too much and it's so cold that I'm buried under the blankets, I sweat anyway. So Miracle, Miracle Brand is this new sponsor of the podcast that do sheets that are self-cooling bed sheets. Uh, and you can stay comfortable all night long. It uses silver-infused fabrics made by NASA uh, to be uh, temperature-regulated bedding. Uh, so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. This is something that you probably know, but maybe you don't think about it. But And this is a crazy fact. Bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat. They can lead to acne, allergies, and stuff. He knows it is gross, actually. Uh, Miracle Brand offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, comforters, that prevent 99% of bacteria and require to be laundered three times less. Um, I just got my set in the mail. I'm loving them instantly. 
Uh, the first night I felt the difference, literally felt cooler the entire night. They have self-cooling properties, like I mentioned. Uh, they're self-cleaning. This is crazy. This is like a sheet. This is like the revolution, uh, uh, revolu revolutionizing the sheet industry. They're comfortable, they're quality, and they're better for your skin. Go to trymiracle.com slash taste buds to try it today. We've got a special deal for our listeners, booze. Be sure to use our promo code taste buds at checkout to save 40%, 40%, and get three free towels. Who doesn't love a, a bacteria-free towel? And Miracle is so confident in their product, it's back with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you aren't 100% satisfied, full refund. Bada bing, bada boom. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Brand. Go to trymiracle.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds to claim your free three piece towel set and save 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash taste buds. Thank you to Miracle Brand for sponsoring the episode. Guys, we are so happy to have Factor back as a sponsor of the podcast. I actually legitimately use Factor. Um, I'm ordering today. I'm ordering more Factor. I originally got my first order from them because we were trying it out because they send it to you for the podcast and they got me hooked. Um, you know, for me, I have a packed schedule and I don't cook. And Factor, has, well, unless I'm, you know, unless I'm choosing to cook, for the most part, I'd rather not. Um, so they have ready to eat meal delivery. Okay. And the stuff is good. In the past, I've tried meal deliveries over the past like, few years. And I tried ones that were really, really well rated. And I thought they were okay at best. The first time I got factor, I enjoyed every single thing they sent. It was delicious. It was filling and it, it actually tasted good. And it was like meals and recipes that I was like, oh man, this is, I, I actually like that. Um, and I even get smoothies from these strawberry banana smoothies that have, are low in sugar. I start my day off with them. And then when I get home from work, um, I literally just take one. I look, I, I have like six, seven things readily made. I take one, I throw it in, I heat it up and it tastes good. That's what I want to tell you is that it actually tastes good. It's cheaper than takeout. Uh, Thanks to their commitment to ingredients with integrity, you can actually feel good about what you're eating every day. It's healthy stuff. Um, not only does Factor offer fast, simple solutions when you know you need the most, they also help you stay on top of goals when it's hard to carve out time. Offering so you, they they when you when you order, you can order specified kits. You could do protein plus or keto things like that. They have calorie smart options, vegan and veggie options keto protein so you can choose the type of like goals that you're looking for i choose ve ve uh, veggie or protein plus um they get they're chef crafted they're dietitian approved um and so that's the difference between them it's and and people that send frozen things or, or the like factor has everything i need for a good week of eats in addition to readily made meals they have cold pressed juices and smoothies energy bites extra protein veggie sides i i love factor Head to go.factor75.com slash tastebuds130. This is the one thing I remember about Factor is it is a bit of a mouthful, but it is worth it. And then you get a bit of a mouthful. See what I did? Head to go.factor75.com, the number 75.com slash tastebuds130 and use code tastebuds130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Let me repeat that one more time. It's code tastebuds130 at go, G-O dot factor 75.com slash tastebuds130 and you're going to get $130 off. If you've been thinking of trying one of these at all, try this one. Uh, I think that you will like it. Guys, you asked for it for so long. We finally got it. Merch is on sale right now. Uh, we rarely talk about it, but I want to start pushing it because we have a really cool designs that Joe and I made up ourselves, and it's the limited run. So whatever is on sale now, the second it's sold out, it's not coming back. It's available right now uh, in the links on these videos or at our website, savilcanocomedy.com, joederosainfo.com. That's Taste Buds merch. I also have solo merch. Uh, up there as well uh, and uh, so check all of it out and uh, and and buy some merch tweet at us the merch and we will retweet you or repost you on Instagram we want to see which ones you guys are liking and we want to see the merch out in the wild really cool project that we put together so to see it out there is going to be cool so check out our merch for perch <coughs> anyway so I'll, I like caramel I, I was just thinking about it. I like caramel in three forms I like it on a s'mores I like it 
on, on a s'more. Well, that you're putting yeah. you're putting it on a s'more. It's not a traditional s'more. Yeah, you can't start like that. I mean, I like you know, mm. I like I like peanut butter. Marshmallow on a s'more. is you're, you said I like caramel on a s'more. You mean marshmallow? Oh, I'm sorry. On a s'more? Did I say caramel? You said yeah, caramel. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I meant marshmallow. It's okay. okay. Sorry about that. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. Wow. B a t t l e. Buds, <laughs> yeah. let's start it over. There you go. My mind's playing tricks on me. Like, <laughs> okay, so I like it on a s'more. You like I, drive, I like big money. I drive big, big cars. cars. Everybody know me. <laughs> it's like I'm a movie star. Uh, I, I like it uh, in certain cereals. I like a Lucky Charm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I like it um, to sh a mini one to shoot out of a gun, an air gun. To shoot out of an air gun. Yeah, you ever see those marshmallow the guns? Squares? The mini ones, the yeah. mini marshmallows. Oh, the mini marshmallows. You load yes. them in and you just shoot. I've yes. never encountered one in real life. The marshmallow. You should. Guns. It's fun. It's a lo loads of fun. Yeah, they they, they actually s replace like Nerf bullets with marshmallow yes. guns. Yes. Where you were able to shoot confection <laughs> confections at your friends. Yes. Okay, that's fun. I but like that. Honestly, take a regular marshmallow, put it in your mouth. I don't see the appeal. I don't think it's fun. I think it's like it feels weird. It feels like you're eating something. With a consistency that just shouldn't be a food, and then when you bite into it and you have to break it down, and it starts getting like uber sticky. The, the taste of a marshmallow stand alone, maybe it'll complement things like chocolate, but the taste stand alone is also completely underwhelming. It's nothing great. And do you ever rip one apart or like bite it in pieces? I can't stand how sticky. You might as well. The only thing worse to get on you or your clothes is like egg, raw no, egg. Is is caramel. What are you mm. talking about? You're talking about the, the the most sticky worst thing you get on your clothes. Caramel is the worst, worst of all time ever. You get, if you bite into, I'm trying to think a of- A caramel uh, cube is like- that? If you're trying if you're trying to think about like, uh, like uh, even in, like in a Snickers, the, the caramel layer well, or- But, but what's more the car candy? Car what? Carmelo? Is it Carmelo? Carmelo. Where it's like the little, little squares of yeah, caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Rolo? Chocolate. Rolo? No. Rolo. Oh, Rolo. That's yeah, Rolo. Rolo. Coming in Caramello third. Carmelo is the same. He's you coming in third. You bite that and it R drips. R Rolo it drips <laughs> immediately. Did you just quote another bad creation? ABC. BBD, the whole yeah. East, East, East Coast family. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm the, uh, Rolo, coming in the third. third. Now's it's about the time, time that I get hurt. You bite a fucking Rolo. You bite a Rolo. Sorry for the Fs for no reason. But you bite a Rolo. That immediately drips on you. It's so now I will say this. I will say this. I will go through an entire box of what's the yellow candies? The the yellow box with the uh Malamar? artisan writing on it. No, like when you give somebody a box of candy. Whitman sampler? Is that what it is? Yeah, women's Whitman's. sampler. Okay. Yeah, you're done. With the artisan writing? It has yeah, like it the artisan like, is like, in, like in an artisan. It looks like, like it's crochet. Well, it was the right yeah. word because yes. you knew what he meant. It was yeah. the right word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, it looks, yeah, it looks like it's artisanal. Crochet. It's yeah. artisanal. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, or is it artisanal or artisan? Artisanal is some by, something done by an artisan. Artisanal. Okay, same thing. Same right. difference. Okay, great. Uh, <clears throat> Whitman's, I'll go through you a You just learned that? No, I didn't know if artisanal and artisan. A plumber, uh, so, a plumber is something that's someone who's plums. Don't talk down to me. I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> you couldn't spell battle 13 minutes ago. You, you. Put, by the way, you Whitman Whitman sampler is the casseroles of box chocolate. <laughs> just so you know, you don't even know Russell Stover. Whitman. God bless. I love you. I have an eight pound box upstairs that somebody got me as a gag gift. But it goes like you know, you get your. Top tier chocolates, and in, in, in mass marketplaces, you're doing something like a Godiva. Then you're going to a Russell Stover's, and Whitman's is don't like. Don't forget about Ferrara Rocher. Oh yeah, That's Hazelnut like, But the Godiva doesn't do a sampler box. Do they? they do a CBS. Yeah, yeah. they, they do. Get, really, yeah, the big four there. Really? Yeah, Ferrara Rocher, Godiva, <laughs> Russell Stover, and then we should have done a Russell versus Whitman or Godiva that's a good, versus that's a good one with you guys. Yeah. Let's talk about other I, other topics you want to do with other guests while on my episode. <laughs> That'll be so fun for me. My point is, this is this is demands all over the map. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, this is my point. I will go through an entire box of Whitmans looking for the one caramel. Okay. Oh, that's the one that makes me shut the box. The Whitman's, the Whitman's, any other flavor in the Whitman's is a disgrace, especially the one with the pink shit in the middle. It's, oh. it's, it's oh. disgrace. And that's not just a shot at but Whitman's. That's everything. Russell does that. Everybody. That yeah. pink, orange. I think that might it's be marshmallow. marshmallow based. No, it is. It is, it is marshmallow it is, it's, based. No, it's cream. I think it's a cream. It's a marshmallow based. No, it is not. It is you, not. Okay. It is, a, it's a strawberry cream. It's a strawberry flavored marshmallow no, base. Do you no, want to go? No, you're talking is. to me about my blood sugar type is Stova. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my blood type is O Stover. <laughs> Listen, wait, yeah. it's a marshmallow. Google that shit. Go ahead. I dare you. No, it's, it's a cream. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. A couple other things. Back it up one second. My point. Wait, you, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my point. Yeah. Go. I will go through the entire Whitman's box to find that caramel. But that caramel, you bite it, it drips. Yeah. It is the worst thing you can get on your clothing. How dare you say that marshmallows are messy? They're they're marshmallows are anything but messy. I, I'll they don't they, it, they stay congealed. Like, when the inside gets you, wet though in your mouth, you get a wet, you get a musty, you yeah, get a you could have corner. you could have caramel in a non-liquid form. Look, no, I'm, gonna, I'm talking I'm gonna, about I'm gonna, caramel as a all right, as a all right. as a filling, I'm, as, as in the way I'm, you mostly get it. But, Snickers, whatever. It 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 pulls shit, and it drips. Right, whatever. Ultimately, I'm basing this battle on the taste of caramel, which I believe is truly undeniable, versus marshmallow. But I'll, let me just back right, it up one so, second. So you, wait, so, so, so so let me ask right, you this: on, just, you you realize that you realize that on. the caramel. <laughs> You realize that the caramel chocolate in a Whitman's or any of the other boxes is the same size, shape, and placement in every box, no matter what. It's it's that's you you can identify the caramel every no, time I, after you have it the first time. Hold on. So the fact that you're running through a box to find the caramel, <laughs> that's a also a, okay. there's also a that's code. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's also they a shit. started making. There's also a legend. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And yes, I will bring up McDonald's in this episode. Oh, uh, no it's shit. It's just like how there was a time when all the boot-shaped McNuggets were the dark meat, and then they started mixing dark and white meats, and then all of a sudden you were getting boot-shaped white meats. I, they did the same thing with caramels in... Russell Stover's I, box. I, 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 I can't. Can't. You're, you're defining a nugget as chicken. I can't even wrap my mind around the words coming out of your mouth. You don't oh, like you don't know? Oh, oh, listen to me. No, a nug I don't like a chicken nugget. It's not chicken. Doesn't no. matter. That's he not wants the argument. To, he, <laughs> wants okay. to, he, he wishes... He worked at McDonald's. He wishes Ronald McDonald adopts him. <laughs> he, 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 he... McDonald's is his... Heaven. He's brought up McDonald's. For, this is like the ninety seventh episode. Yeah, yeah. He's brought up McDonald's in all ninety seven. He's somehow finding a way to compare McNuggets yeah. to the battle of caramel well, and marshmallow. I, I, I thought that he was going to go with that caramel is so popular that they actually had to introduce that as the second hot topping to the classic Sunday. They only had hot fudge. No, he won't, make a, no he won't make That's a rational argument. I know. McDonald's. I know. I'm not surprised. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is that would be the way to use McDonald's in this episode. Right. That's very. That's, that's a, very interesting. Caramel. Caramel wasn't introduced until 1989 as a topping. Caramel. Ha, is the second most popular topping for ice cream. How and do you know that? Ice, ice cream. Fudge. And I will tell it's you, McDonald's. it's a shit topping on ice cream. When I have ice cream that has a caramel infusion or a topping on it, you I go, are I wish a this moron. was hot fudge. Mm -hmm. you're, I you're wish a moron. it was fudge. You're a moron. For you to say Why? that caramel a topping on ice cream is not good is so crazy. It's undeniable. A hot caramel mixed with a cold vanilla ice cream? Oh, take a walk. No. Uh, go tell it to the preacher. Well, where's your marshmallow? What are you doing with marshmallow? What are you doing with marshmallow? What am I doing Talk with marshmallow? Talk to me about marshmallow. What am I doing with marshmallow? Yeah. I'm kicking up every cereal you have ever eaten in your life. But that's the cereal in with it. No, but it doesn't matter. You want to talk ice cream, we're going to talk cereal. Well, also, those are bullshit marshmallows. Those aren't oh, real marshmallows. Shut up. Those marshmallows and Lucky Charms are not up. real marshmallows. They're you know that. They hit that milk and they are, and that's the fucking beauty of them. They have a dehydrated marshmallow, and when it hits that milk, it expands and becomes magnificent. How Dare you. You're going to hang your whole argument on cereal-based marshmallows? Gonna yours on, you're going to hang yours on ice cream? No. What else, what else you got with caramel? Take caramel in its purest form. A form. I love unwrapping that little clear wrapper and having this cute cube. Old people that love feels them. really good. Old people caramel love them. candy sucks. Old people love them. What? Exactly. Old people love caramel. Exactly. Old people love caramel. Exactly. And they if there's two scotch. groups of people on this earth that are stupid, it's old people and young people. There you go. <laughs> pimp, pimp, Anybody pimp. in the middle of life knows no. better. Caramel, caramel apples. apples suck. They suck. No, they don't. A caramel <laughs> apple. They suck. Caramel apple no, they is the worst thing that you could ever buy I for your mouth. I don't even like apples, but I'll bite me, into here, a caramel, caramel apple. apple but I'm scared about my here's teeth when I do. Here's what caramel apple is. You take a bite and an entire caramel skin pulls off. I will tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Let me let me let me actually I don't like caramel apples. <laughs> they suck. Yeah. I don't like caramel apples. I do think they suck, but I'm not but that doesn't kill caramel for me. Can you do me a favor? Can you Google Werther's original? Is that a caramel based Werther's original? Werther's original. Or is it toffee based? It's toffee. toffee. Werther's. Is toffee, oh, like, a, is toffee like the GoBot? 
It is. Of caramel. It's a nougat and caramel mix, isn't it? Yeah, right? Yeah. What, is, what is toffee? Oh, look at this. Werther's was a laxative originally. <laughs> No. Is that what that says? Sugar-free candy product. Oh, it's sugar-free, where this original. No, they have You'll find a product. laxative warning printed on the candy. You Google where this original. Jesus and Christ. The, there you go. The, yeah, no, 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 you Google, You're defending you, the food that gives you, you shit. Where, yeah. You Google where this originals, and the first question, the most asked question scroll down that comes up is, why are where this originals so good? But can can, I, can you tell me what's in there? Blending together is every caramel. At, it's a caramel. Every caramel he crafted. he crafted. So it's caramel based. Werther's. Werther's Originals, bro? They Come suck. On, bro. <laughs> Werther's Originals. Sal, you can't be. Are you insane, dude? Ter- Sal, Are I you swear insane? You're God. telling me right now, you came in here and I had a candy bowl uh, right there. Is, he and loves it was, doing this. It was, this it, is his only argument. It was, if you came in here and he had a bowl of these things. No, what? Why is that, that nobody how is that ever does? No one's said, carrying around a bowl. And by the he's way, and before you get to it, only argument, he just bought a McDonald's. And before you get to it, popcorn. Before you even say it. Caramel popcorn. Your popcorn. I mean, cra- okay. Cracker Jackson Didn't is going here. Cracker Jackson, Cra- an episode, you dopey bitch. Cracker Jacks. Cracker yeah. Jackson here. Yeah. Cracker yeah. Jacks is up in here. Let's also defend poverty and war and everything yeah, else right. in the 20s. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack comes yeah. in. Hey, let's go stand on the bread line house, and Cracker Jacks. And there was a bowl of Werther's Originals. Would oh. you take one and pop it in your mouth? I love Cracker Jacks because they give me fun toys like a fake test tube. Nobody's singing about marshmallows in a baseball game. That's true. That's also true. Baseball. Let's Joe, defend the racist answer sport. the question. <laughs> answer the question. If you walked in here and there was a bowl of Werther's Originals individually wrapped, would you not pop one in your mouth? No, I wouldn't. You're full of shit. I would shit. not. I would. You like caramel. <laughs> I don't like a Werther's Original. Well, I think it's a shit well, candy. Well, then you need to go to the doctor <laughs> and have an evaluation. You know what I call because them? It is Worthless originals. Oh, Worthless don't you dare. originals. Don't you dare. They suck. I hope they're not watching. They suck. I hope they're not Those watching. Those candies suck and you know it. Let's take, let's I don't. take I one love element it. out of a chocolate that you love. Let's take one element out of a chocolate combo thing that you love and make it rock hard and then... A choking hazard. Yeah, it's a choking hazard. There's your word. Yeah, your word. Oh, you, you a are choking hazard. hazard. Yeah. In yeah. Heim- it was invented by you Friedrich with a Heimlich. Choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> it was invented by a German. Friedrich Wait, why Heimlich. Why is it the original? Is there a non-original Werther's? No, yeah. Werther's is a, from a German candy maker. He hung his hat on it. What do you mean? Yeah, that was the big candy that came out of Germany. It was a the German, German candy. Germany. But why is it the original? Because it's Werther's originals. People copied it. So they w- did? Were there, what's his name? Were, were there Honkenvich or something? It's some weird, oh, right? boy, Germany. Based You're in getting... Berlin, Germany, right. Were there's Echte. Why do you know oh this about Were there? Because look yeah, at my body. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't think I know about you're this. You're, not, you're, you're right. Look at it. You were right. Where does Ecte? Yeah, yeah, whatever see, the hell it is. I, I didn't know Ecte until he, he oh, brought okay, that up, okay. but I knew it was out of Germany. I and mean, he, he okay. made it the original because people were making fake it, ones. It was a caramel hard candy. Later variants included Chevy toffees. A chocolate and filling. And a soft, waxy form which melts his mouth. A variant with chocolate fillings also available, as well as three sugarless variants. The original butterscotch flavor. Yep. A but- oh, so the butterscotch, too. So butterscotch I is a I almost fla- died on a butterscotch. A- I almost choked. You talking about choking hazard? Yeah. I went to the doctor's, doctor's office, office when I was little. Yeah, you threw one down. I threw one in. He oh. had a bowl of candy. let a child take it. Look I it. choked. A woman. I was choking. Yep. My mother goes, oh, my God, he's choking. Legit choking. Yep. And there was like five people in the office. The nurses behind the desk just looked at me and froze, didn't do anything. A woman, you, a big burly woman stood up, grabbed me by both ankles, her hands to down. my ankles. Her hands, the first time she touched me was hand to ankle. <laughs> she then pulled my ankles up and she swooped me just from a standing position upside down and she shook me like I was a cartoon. She shook me like this. Yeah. And you had the gall. And the, bur- the butterscotch shot, shot out. You had the gall to just scoff that Werther's is a choking house. Yes, and you've been through the trauma. Oh, I was a child. Childhood trauma is what ruins things. Life I'm, saver, ruined, for mar- thing. I'm saver- ruined for marshmallow because of childhood trauma. What happened? In 1986, I watched the I watched the movie The Stuff. What is I that? I love the movie The, the Stuff. The B, B movie The Stuff. I never heard it's of this. Movie. Oh, yeah, it's a it's a film about. I thought uh, you were just pulling my leg. It, You've it, seen The Stuff. It, the, it's a no, it's, it's a, a knockoff version of The Blob. Speaking of non original version of well, The Blob, well, and it's The Stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it it's about a, a, a yeah. superfood that they put out. And there's a scene where it goes into a guy's yeah. mouth. That it's right on the right on the uh, cover there, where you can see he's about to throw up. So I had to stay away from marshmallow because I thought I, I associated marshmallow with the stuff. It looked like marshmallow. Oh, who's that kid? I know that kid. See, look at that. Who's that kid right there? Not not him. What the? F- what is this movie? <laughs> it's a horror movie. It's a horror where, film. Like like I said, like this this, this is unbelievable. This like, <laughs> yeah, it comes out. It's like the blob. 
Yeah. <laughs> can you ask? Can you tell me something? That kid, the the, the, the older brother. <laughs> oh my God! I've never I've never yeah. heard of this it's in my life. Very I try not movie. to talk about because it, it ruined me. It's a very fun. Directed by Oh uh, yes, Larry so that's Cohen. Right there. <laughs> the, ben, that, use that image. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I thought every time I popped a marshmallow in my mouth. Larry I Cohen. stopped eating marshmallow in 1986. What's wrong Larry, with this Larry Cohen? Correct, pimp. I'm, I think that's it's all a mouthpiece. No, well, that's who the is the name, kid? Right? Yeah, see. Larry Cohen. No, no, Larry ho- Cohen's a great cult director. He also directed Q the Wing. Serpent Scott Bloom. Uh, who, who is Scott Bloom? He what also else is Scott directed, Bloom uh, I believe, Return to Salem's Lot. He directed uh, Larry K- Larry Cohen. Go to Larry Cohen's. IMDb. Hold on, I'm doing something here. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I'm looking something up, bro. The stuff ruined me. I want to see what that who that kid, I knew that kid from something. Yeah, when you I was know, little. he's he's the kid from Smoke and Aces. <laughs> No, no, that's not it, bro. No, he was in John Q. He was in no, such no, classics was, as who's the, who's the boss. It's who's the boss. He's the boss. I remember that. He was in Double bitch. Dump, the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Double Dump from Who's the Boss. On paper, that's not a good name. So, you know, no, I remember that kid. He has piercing producer eyes. Of Rock of Ages. Go to Larry Cohen's D- uh, IMDb. I want to give a shout out to Larry Cohen as, oh, as a horror fan. Yeah. It's a live, the It's a live trilogy. Oh, the ambulance. Oh, Maniac oh, Cop, one. of course. Yeah. Larry Maniac Cohen's a, is, a, is, a, is a G in the horror world. Yeah, the stuff ruined me for that. Yep. And the caramels I couldn't eat because of my orthodontics. I've, for, for five years, I wore orthodontics, corrective uh, braces. Five years. They're called orthodontics? I guess so. Aren't they braces? Yeah, I mean, on the street. Wait, ortho- orthodontics is a, is a word? Well, I, I believe so. Like things of the orthodontal Orthodo- nature? Things of orthodontal nature is orthodontics. Well, an orthodontist. Like pediatrics is a part of pediatrician. Orthodontics. I would say orthodontics. Can we look that up? Now, Joe, you... Yeah, show just results to, just to orth- circle back to the battle. You hate both oh, of these foods. I hate both of these foods. Which... Orthodontia. What, what's the, what's the, what, is the, what is the hardest insult you could throw at both caramel and marshmallow? I want you to give your hardest insult well, to the, each. The, fir- the first and foremost we already touched on was texture. They both leave you... Uh, used and abused. Like, you are done when you've touched either or okay. used them. I think the stickiness of both is gross. And then also, they're both a chore to eat. But give... I, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm asking for is, say, caramel, dot, 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 marshmallow, dot, dot, dot. I want to hear your harshest critique of both individually, not their shared dislikable qualities. I, for me, marshmallow, it's texture. Okay. Te- I don't trust a marshmallow. It's you don't know the form it's had. I don't know where it's been. I don't Let's know who's do a touched bit like it. Flesh. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a little okay. flesh. Fair All right, enough. and caramel. It's going to be stickiness. Okay. Okay. It feels like you know Willy Wonka's load. But <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's just to oh. me, generally, generally. <laughs> this I'd imagine, if I had to imagine. The, uh, wait, so, but, but what do you... I uh, mean, that would be amazing. <laughs> what do you hate about the flavor? If, if we ejaculated caramel. The, the flavoring? I mean, the, I mean, well, you know, fl- honestly, if someone told me that guy over there, his name is Will Wonka, he ejaculates caramel, I'd be like, I need, I need to see it, Hi. possibly taste yeah. it. <laughs> My friend, <laughs> Willy Wonks? Yeah. <laughs> he busts caramel loads. You got to taste this guy. Yeah. You got to taste this guy's wonk. My boy, oh. Sea loads all day. My boy, Sea loads green. Wonk on him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 would probably, I would probably say for both of them, I, uh, you never can't. I, in their purest form, they're boring. They need to be jazzed up and presented with friends in a s'more. Right? Sure, a marshmallow for sure. Right. Honestly, when you're done chewing a marshmallow, you swallow it. Was it really a good ride? It is, it's but not a talking, great taste. But you're, you're, hold on a second. Let me, let, this is important Let's, to point we'll go, out. We'll go down his list. This is important to point out. Marshmallows in and of themselves are fine. Caramel in and of itself is fine. But nobody's eating these things solo. You're just not. But they're both presented that way. Well, but but they're but but you you, you know where you People find are marshmallows? Eating them both solo. Hold on, hold on. People are eating them hold both on. solo. Stop it. You know, I'll take so, marshmallows wait, wait, and wait, a hot wait, chocolate. Wait. I'll take marshmallows and a hot chocolate. Let me finish my point though. You know where you're finding marshmallows and and caramel in the grocery store in the fucking baking aisle. They're in the ingredients aisle. Exactly. Hundred percent. Yeah, you find exactly. You're it's finding. like buying chocolate chips and going, oh, you eat chocolate. Chi- no, if there caramel. was a bowl of chocolate chips here, you would eat the chocolate yeah, yeah, chips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're, you're finding yeah. caramel in the candy aisle. Well, you know what you're finding? No, both you're not. Caramels? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, Sal, you find a bag it. of Brax. You can find a Brax. Or, yeah, or you're, you're finding, it. like, you, you, you're certainly up. But still, but he's talking. It's bottom shelf. What about, what about, the, ooh, what about the caramel with that, like, white stuff in the middle? Caramel with the white stuff in the middle? Yeah. That's disgusting. That oh, no, I know that thing. It's yeah, nice. yeah, it's yeah, fun. It's, are, it's like a Halloween it adds another it's texture. Around. It's like no. white cream yeah, in the middle. Yeah, it's a creme. That's disgusting. Caramel creme. It's gross. I Caramel always cremes. thought it might be disgusting, and I had one, and I was like, pleasant. Mm. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. 
most, excuse me, most um, of the time, these two things are are part of a greater good. They're enhancers. They're enhancers. Yes, I agree. And I will say, when it comes to enhancers, Marshmallow is running the fucking is is ruling the roost. I, you have never had something You're not. with caramel in it that kicks it up the way marshmallow kicks and something what, up. What? This guy as might as well answer, just have diarrhea enhancer, shooting out of his mouth. As an enhancer, you cannot touch caramel because marsh, there's no such thing as a marshmallow drizzle. Caramel okay. drizzle, fucking, that's fancy shit. What the, the fuck, fuck over thing. What the fuck do you drizzle? see on top of the sweet potatoes at, at Thanksgiving I'm a time. full marshmallow, you dumb asshole. That's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> It's, a, it's an enhancer. <laughs> no, but not like a caramel drizzle. A caramel drizzle? A fucking chef. You got I'm fucking Gordon Ramsay in the back. <laughs> <laughs> With his fucking drizzle. You got fucking fist. Throw fist fucking. Let me marshmallow. Shoot fucking shoot at him. Let me marshmallow. Shoot 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 stupid. Stand up so I can hear you when you're talking out of your asshole. Because it's fucking bullshit. You do this weekly with this dumb piece of shit? What a fucking moron. He's a functioning idiot. Does he hang his fucking helmet at the door before he walks in here because I swear to God I fucking what time does your ride get here I can't fucking believe you put yourself through this he's a fucking I swear to God is he battery operated he needs to be fucking rebooted he needs to be rebooted because there's something fucking wrong with your dumb friend Jesus Christ taste buds more like fucking taste dud he's got no fucking taste in nothing Jesus Christ Christ. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? Oh, God. Let me break the... I love you, Joey. Yeah, no, that's... The, the, <laughs> go fuck yourself. The, uh, that's... That's, that's, the, that's all three clips right there for the episode. <laughs> that's all three clips. Oh, why are you so offended so by the enhancer of marshmallow? <laughs> I'm offended. I'm offended that you think they could be ex- they could be in the same conversation oh. as karma. Oh, for you an, just oh, what wait, you wait, just wait, wait. did was you summed up my feelings over a hundred episodes. <laughs> Everything I think and feel every week, you just summed it up for me. Like, you know that sketch with Key and Peele where Keegan Michael Key plays the inner monologue of Barack Obama? <laughs> you just did that with me, with him. My stomach actually hurts. That was amazing. Uh, it was amazing. It was truly amazing. Uh, Wait, which one? At my expense, I'm saying that. Okay. It was amazing. Which was one is caramel? You like caramel? Uh, no, I'm marshmallow. Oh, then I take that all back. Yeah. You're a fuck. <laughs> But what I'm, but hold on. I'm saying though. I'm saying I I I I, I get your point. I mm-hmm. get your point that the caramel drizzle and shit, marshmallows, kick up cereal, whatever. A s'more. You know I don't like them. S'more and s'more without that fucking marshmallow. I agree. And you know it. Sweet potato casserole. Right. Uh, we talked about casseroles. Marshmallows. Right. All right. Hot chocolate with a marshmallow. Roasting an marshmallows on it's a an activity. stick at a fire. I get all what you're saying. I'm saying marshmallows kick the situation I up significantly. Sa- I am saying this. More so than caramel. Marshmallows Nobody also. gets excited about a caramel enhancement. Listen. You don't get excited about it. I get, when my cheesecake comes out of the you kitchen. Don't like caramel. Well, you I like don't. cheesecake. You don't like caramel. I like cheesecake enough. I like cheesecake enough to fuck can eat the caramel with it. So fuck it, don't worry no, about it. Because sometimes you look it. at it. It's stop like when it. the friend has, you know, when the girl's got a friend that's okay. You still talk to the both of them. But listen, here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is nobody knows how to say caramel. It's caramel, caramel, oh, fucking that's the first thing, right? Caramel? But it's also, you're all over the map. No, you're swerving about, in and out. Will you let me finish, you yeah, dumb good. fucking good. asshole? Good. The other thing I'm going to say is, good. listen, no, marshmallow <laughs> is not pronounced marshmallow. It's marshmallow. Nobody knows even how to say these dumb things that you fucking people oh. like. But I'm saying, oh. you're telling me, you're telling me, hear me the fuck up. Go. I will give I you I say silence. to you two things. I say to a group of people two things at a, at a dinner party. Got it. Folks, we got Where's cheesecake. We got cheesecake, but we've added a caramel drizzle. Or, folks, we're going to roast some marshmallows. 
What gets people more excited? Your dumb fucking drizzle? Your dumb fucking drizzle? Or marshmallows? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Do we want to do, do we want to do an apple or an orange in this fucking thing? All right. Do you want to go? Do you want to go to Las Vegas or do you want to come to my aunt's funeral? You might as well ask me those two things. Yeah. What do you because mean? you're giving me an activity, roast a marshmallow versus eat this. Nobody gets excited about the caramel enhancement. Yeah, but That's if my I fucking say, point, no, no, do you no, want no, to no, come you're giving a, the, roasting a marshmallow is an experience. It's an experience. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys, I got a new cereal that's got marshmallows in it, or I got a cheesecake with a caramel drizzle. I'm more excited about the cereal with the marshmallows that's in it. I'm that's sorry. Because you're, that's because you're an idiot, and you like breakfast over dessert to you? Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. Did I fucking say that? Well, what'd you just compare? I, a breakfast and a dessert. Did I say that? Oh, I'm you? sorry. I'm interpreting your dumb words that are coming out of your stupid mouth. <laughs> I just want to know for the record, <laughs> he's supposed to be a mediator. <laughs> You've turned me. Yeah. This is, thank you so oh, much. It's impossible. Listen, listen. It's impossible okay. to oh, not oh, come in. This is, is a guy who has the common turn. sense. He had to he turn. common sense. He had to turn his comments off two weeks ago because he got attacked so hard for singing on the podcast. I didn't turn off comments. That's how hard everybody turned. What, what, what do you mean? I didn't comments. I'm the asshole. Yo, you motherfucker. You got a backup <laughs> I didn't, today. I didn't turn off comments. What are you talking you about? People wrote to me and said, Sal turned off his 100% comments. 100% not true. Never, never, ever. People bitch so ever. much. People I, bitch I, so I, much I, I never, about I your wrote, singing on the podcast. Never turned off comments. That's, that's completely it. Don't that's right. a lie. Don't that's people trying to make you feel better. Don't that's people trying to make you feel better. I didn't ask for it. I didn't turn off comments. That's the first time I'm ever hearing that. So you say. So you say. I got time. I got time to read. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Matter of fact, I didn't read a comment from that entire episode, and I saw Pimp a week later, Not and I saw like uh, something on like Twitter that, comment, that, and, and yeah. I was like, oh, I saw a few, and he goes, yeah, people didn't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. I didn't even know. You sound like Bill Clinton right now. <laughs> there was no affair. I didn't even know. And by you the way, I'll sing. I thought it was a good bit. I'll sing. I, I I do what I think is funny, and then you choose to follow or don't. I will sing a whole fucking thing again. I could care I, less than I it was annoying. Can't I didn't turn off comments. I don't give a fuck. I can't believe people didn't like your singing. I know. I it was it. a horror show. Uh, I disagree. I think Sal. No, no, no. I say he doesn't have a good voice. Oh, okay. The bit was a horror. We're show. all stars in the yeah, dope don't, show. Don't, don't start it again. Don't do it. I'm again. not going to do it again. Yeah. But uh, no, I didn't turn off comments. Anyway, oh, my this, point is this: you understand that he was a, today. he was supposed to come here to be a moderator, and he can't even. Hold the course there because he has to. Because you talk so much oh, shit. You two, he, you two are in fucking cahoots. Oh, cahoots yeah, You've right. been in cahoots for years. <laughs> all right, you oh, had no. your fucking precious TV show together. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're in fucking this is cahoots. All, this is what you got to resort to. Uh, uh, this I'm is gonna, what you got to resort to. You can't guy, take the I'm hard truth. The guy you can't, that you made millions with <laughs> to turn yeah. against oh, you. Oh yeah, okay. You fucking uh, rat. Do anything now? That has to do with anything right now. Pimp, I just said. While I was yelling over Sal, you're going to have to bleep that. Yes. I don't want it to get lost to the battle. I'm so down say it three times. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. You've known this guy your whole fucking life. I'm surprised he's turning on me. Turning on you? He's here to be a mediator and a moderator and an in-between guy. He doesn't like either. Yeah. Look what yeah. happened. Because yeah. nobody yeah. with a sound That's like mind. Trump in, that's like Trump bringing in uh, Steve Bannon and going, this guy's mutual. Well, what I yeah, would that's say what like. Also, it's probably some, <laughs> also, it's like that and probably something like McDonald's. I would say if Sal said something as dumb as you did, I would give him the same Correct. anger. He's yelled at me like that before. Yeah, before. And multiple know. times in I, life. I know. Guys, we're joking. <laughs> Here. We're having yeah, fun. I know. I'm having a great time. <laughs> always do this. I'm so glad. We're joking too, asshole. <laughs> I know, but I. Uh, no, you, no, you, you, you don't. You don't quite, you yell, and then you don't we go quite, right and you're like, I'm jo I'm joking, you don't, we're joking. You don't quite understand the craft in the way I do. I, oh, I, I, oh there are God. nuances oh, to God. it. I've oh, made, God, I've made delusional. Of, I've done well with the craft of yelling, my friend. <laughs> no, you're delusional. Listen, here's you're delusional. The here's the point. I. I wait, Queen Elizabeth died? Choked on a Werther's. Yeah. She died? I thought she was... Oh, no, she died. She's dead now. R.I.P. Oh, oh like shit. in the, like the last... Like, like right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Holy shit. 96. Well, I mean... So wait, who's well, the successor? Well, well, you Prince Charles. Shocked? I mean, she was no, in the 90s. Dead. Prince Charles now, right? Prince Charles is dead. Is okay. Don't they have to name a new queen? No, no. Who's no. Next? What do you mean her successor? I know, you mean Prince Charles. It says the next oh, wait, Prince Charles is alive? Yeah. Prince, oh, that, Prince Diana died. Prince Diana. Prince Princess Diana. Prince oh, Charles. so Prince Charles now is King Charles. What are you talking about? What? Prince, Prince comes king, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, that was the running joke all the time. Was like Prince Charles is going to be, he's going to die before he becomes a king because his mom. He's like in his seventies, right? Wait, yeah. oh really? So there's just not a new queen now. There's no, it's, no it goes queen? by the hierarchy. It's her first. Now there's no queen. No, there's no just queen. A king? No, his wife becomes a queen. His wife becomes a queen. That's what queens come from. Yeah, yeah, it's like an in-law. Well, who's her husband? 
He's dead. The king. Who's her husband? Yeah. She doesn't have a husband. He's yeah, dead. the king died. Was. Who he was he? Who was he? Who was the king? She's 93, so it was like King Richard. I who think. was the king? I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, but I don't... I don't, I I don't know who I can't husband. call it up. I, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I believe it was King Ralph. They made a movie about it. Starring yeah. John Goodman. Goodman. Ralph. That was right. That was it. <laughs> no, King Ralph. The movie was Wreck-It Ralph, no? no? King Ralph. <laughs> Remember the John Goodman movie, King, King Ralph? Ralph? was yeah, John Goodman. That was her king? husband? Prince Philip. Oh, he was oh, a prince. Joking. The queen married a prince. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, queen Elizabeth was married to a prince. John Goodman movie from the 80s. Yes. Right, but was he playing King, the king? No, <laughs> that's the gag. Was he was a fat guy. He became His king. name was Ralph or something. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall. <laughs> yeah. The only thing marshmallows are good for is plugging my ears to block out the shrill screams of Joe when he loses an argument. Thank you, Matt. All right, we're going to the phones. <laughs> Joe, we go to the Where phones. Where are we, babe? Where are we, babe? At like an hour. Oh, yeah, let's, let's go, go to the go phones. To the phones. Okay. All right, we can't even agree on how to pronounce caramel, and now we're supposed to say it's better than marshmallow. We need a better. We need to do better as a society. Uh, I agree with the with the pronunciations. Bother me. Caramel, caramel. Caramel. I don't like it. It, it honestly, if I've ever been around a friend or anyone that's ever good, oh, have a little caramel, or whatever. In my in my head, I secretly go. It's not caramel. Caramel, caramel macchiato? Caramel macchiato. It says C-A-R-A-M-E-L. Hey, can you go to the wiki page and hit pronunciation? Yeah, let's let's get it right off of the phones as soon as we go to them. The- <laughs> <laughs> caramel. Shh. Caramel. 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 So it's not caramel. Caramel. But oh, but look, it's- wait, there's a, there is. It says caramel, but then it also says caramel there. Yeah, it's both. Well, it's spelled caramel. I, I think it's spelled both ways now. Oh, the marshmallow voice is sexier. See, she does say <laughs> she, it is. She does say mellow. Look, M E L O. Yeah. Why is it pronounced mellow? It's I don't know. Okay. Well, one is a DJ. Mm. Mm. That is true. I DJ think there's Car- a DJ. There's got to be a DJ caramel, caramel right? Yeah. Caramel <clears throat> all the way. Sweet and chewy. It makes everything more delicious. Marshmallows are just boring and slimy. Both are sticky, but one is also creamy. Caramel wins. Don't make me choose. My teeth say neither. Good point. Yeah. Try roasting caramel. Don't worry, I'll wait. Caramel. Good point. Caramel is timeless. Marshmallows are only good for s'mores and for baiting for skunk. That's trap. right. You get Ooh, I didn't know that. Animal all animals love marshmallow. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah, a lot of animals marshmallow. They do that in a lot of feeding uh, pet and uh, marshmallow. Uh, marshmallow is fun wait, to wait. take a full marshmallow and throw at somebody. That's fun. That's Listen fun. Listen to this psycho. Caramel getting all stuck in your teeth, it's a fun little game getting it out. Nothing better. That's Ugh. the worst aspect of caramel. That's the worst. Yeah. I don't like it, but I kind of, I think it's almost like what she's talking about. It's almost like a journey, almost like a, um, uh, 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 what's that nut that you got to open up the shell? Pecan? No. Pecan. You know, you got to bite the shell. Pistachio. Oh, pistachio, yeah. Something like that. It's like you work I for literally it. will not buy ice cream if it has caramel in it. Like when I go to the Ben and Jerry aisle, and I'm like, hey, let me try. What, what do we got flavors wise this week? Yeah, I will not buy it if it has. Well, see, that's flavor that's odd for me because that but takes also, away your biggest argument. One of your biggest arguments, you don't like the stickiness of it. The cold makes it not sticky, so it's more manageable. I agree, but I don't like. But you know what? Here's here's what's funny, <laughs> and I'll discredit myself. I also will not buy ice cream that has marshmallows Marshmallow in it. it. Yeah, not many do. Marshmallows are just puffy version of sweetness. In the in the way Bart Chrysler is a puffy ver. Bart Chrysler. God. I mean, Ray Ray, take two <laughs> seconds to check your spelling. No, you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the point. Uh, People call him Burnt Chrysler and, and every other variation of his name except his name. Why? It's an ongoing gag. I really don't know. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, Ray Ray. <laughs> Marshmallows? Ray only Ray, good I was toasting. wrong. I, my hat in hand, Ray Ray. Uh, <laughs> you really retracted quickly, too. I, that whiskey must be kicking in. I, I, I kick it in. <laughs> I'm, I'm still flying from yesterday. Uh, caramel is a creamy, delicious additive, while marshmallows make me want to nosedive into the nearest source of petroleum jelly in which I could drown. I don't understand that. Joe, stop with the marshmallow and the weenie dogs. You don't stand a chance to caramel. Notice they, right. they knew you had marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. Trash versus trash. But marshmallows are only good to throw in a fire. Sal has to be marshmallows because he's soft and fluffy. Caramel, no doubt, either the gooey... Oh, Marshmallows are the 98 Geo Metro of sweets. Caramel's more like a BMW. Caramel feels better on my dentures. What are you nuts? Marshmallow- by themselves. 
by themselves, caramel all day with other things, marshmallow. Okay, there's a well. There's marshmallows a- had a has a, has had a uh, pop culture impact in a way. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, right? I forgot. So you have that as well. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing iconic about a caramel, is there? That's a great point. That's a great point. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Joe, read it so around. that the viewer <laughs> yeah. can understand. Can, Joe, I can, you idiot! <laughs> I can <laughs> totally. That's good. That's good podcasting. Really? Too. You you blame me for going off the phones to to, to do something like <laughs> know the correct pronunciation of caramel versus caramel, which is going to be interesting. And you go. <laughs> he goes. This is a good one. <laughs> you done? I am now. Have you had your fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. Feel like a big man now in front of your buddy? I do. <laughs> All right. I could totally picture Joe standing in a ditch, eating marshmallows right out of the bag. Not even as a kid. I could see him doing it now on a random Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> That's our winning comp- comment. Uh, tweet. Uh, follow Maya at Maya Marie with two E's. Nine nine. At M-A-Y-A-M-A-R-I-E-E. Nine nine. Marshmallows are... Basically, dried up snowman balls, but I would cover Sal in caramel drizzle. Hashtag taste to your buddies. Wow. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, snowballs too, which I have defended on the show and I love as a, as a treat. Uh, a snowball. We've I got hate snowball. 7,600 votes. Uh, I have a feeling caramel is going to win. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I truly, this is one of the ones I cannot tell. I really uh, cannot. Oh, wait, plugs before we. Before we do the uh, guys, uh, merch is up at the store. You can get it on my website or Joe's SavileCanoComedy dot com or Joe DeRosa Info dot com. Uh, the merch once that merch is sold out, which is headed there, uh, you can't get it anymore. We're not going to remake anything that we have. Uh, we might make some new new patterns, but this is this first run will be gone. Check that out. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll insert our tour dates up top, but we're both yeah. on tour. And yeah. do me a favor. You want a free way to support the pod, do us a favor and just uh, follow us on Spotify. Uh, follow us on, subscribe on Subscribe what? on YouTube. The no like Press the channel videos. on YouTube and yeah. on iTunes. Rate it. It could take five seconds for you, and it would really help us. We'd really appreciate it. Yes. Joe Plucks. You got you got your tour right now. Got you got my, the podcast. I got my tour. Yeah. Uh, oh, do you want me to do it? Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm touring throughout the end of the year. All my tour dates are announced. So JoeGattoOfficial.com. I'm coming all over uh, the United States. Uh, the second one is uh, my podcast with Steve Byrne, who we spoke of, who we love. Two Cool Moms podcast. That's available. And if you just go to Instagram at Joe underscore Gatto, and it's got a link link that's got everything on there. Cool, cool. Love it. Yeah. All right. Humble Pie. This is what the happens humble here is we segment. declare who's winner, and then whoever loses, or whoever wins, excuse me, has to say, I still love you. And then. Oh, that's nice. Too, that's, that's a nice end. touch you guys did. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this drum roll right here. Pimpy, get the, uh, get the statistics in Not the lower good, right hand corner. Got, did he stop? Woo! Ooh. Didn't think it would be like that. Didn't think it would be me like neither, that. Me neither, honestly. I thought it would be, I thought it'd be closer. That's a bit of a trouncing. <laughs> yeah. 74.9% goes to caramel with 25.1% to marshmallows. I disagree. Ooh, I also, disagree. also, we always say this and we never do it, but I'd love to know. I'd love to be keeping tally of the second season. You never paid the piper for the first season. Yep. I don't know. I don't well, know. get off your lazy ass and do it then. Well, the tallying comes from our, our you, wonderful you fans. You could look it up. You could look it up. It would take you three minutes. I don't know. Instead of fucking farming it out to some fucking fan for free you to do the might work. Be, you know what? It might be nice and an easy way for us to keep track. If yeah. we get what the most current looking score at is. The, right? uh, looking at the videos that we have a full record of. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a way to do it. Um, I'm no. sorry. Did Sal just make fun of you for not doing good podcasting when you were trying to read stuff? And now he's going to give instructionals yeah. on how he this can is go what he does. This is what he does. No, no, no. Do listen. it for me. No, no, I have a good idea. A, oh, no, the big idea. famous guy wants it done for him. Get off your. Fucking ass I remember when you used to have grinding you, Sal. Yeah. That Jack Daniels is almost gone. <laughs> oh, so, it's almost so, I had one so, sip, you fuck. <laughs> um, Big sip. I can, <laughs> I can quit any time. <laughs> um, As he's still bleeding. Pim, a nice idea would be um, just get, like, let's say this episode, whatever, Get let's get what the, what the number is and then put it 
at the end with the humble pie, put it on screen or just in the comments. Okay. And then once we know what it is, you'll always be able to know the next one. So we could just always keep track. I think it means something. I like to tally it. Okay. Well, what's the yeah. punishment? What are we going to do? Well, that's season one. I, 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 We're still waiting. He said something. People actually. are sending, People are I, I sending punish all, this guy. People are sending all kinds of suggestions. No, didn't you pitch? Didn't we agree on Eating something? Scorpion. We had a hundred ideas. We had No, we had the fans send ideas in. Did we ever check them? No, we have to review them. You Sorry, review them. I'm just so busy. Let's yeah. review them. Yeah. yeah, but you don't got to do something like that's really off brand for him. That's fun. Like he's got to like you know go into like enjoy his day. Not exactly. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. say that. Like smile all day. Yeah. <laughs> like you just be happy for a day and yeah. see how his how yeah. his body rejects it. And the, have like hour eighteen of him having to smile, that would be unbelievable. Yeah. The problem is the problem is is some of the suggestions are too much from the from the show. That you guys, of course, you know, yeah. it's like Joe should have to get a tattoo. No, or whatever. No, you, you know, know what I mean? That, yeah. So I, we don't want to do that. Some of the suggestions are too like where I'm just like I'm not doing that. Of I'm course, not harming yeah. my body. No, no, no. N not with the tattoo. I mean, it'll be like drink this and right. make sure you, you don't do that either. I'm, like, yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that. But I will do the thing we were gonna do was we were gonna the loser of the first season, which is now me, had to eat. A bag of what was it? Sugar-free gummy bears. Powerboat gummies, yeah. And because these oh, things were yes. notoriously made, you shit your brains out. But then they discontinued them. Uh, but like something. But like I think that. you should do. No, I think you. I just. I. I humbly disagree. I think you should like. We should dress you up and you should go to a children's hospital for a day Ooh. and go and like smile would, at people. I would love to do that. Right. That would be a joy for but me. That's I, not like a that. No, but I think no. I think, you'd, him up like that. I think you'd have to. Yeah. Well, like, you'd have to be dressed and have to is. go and smile and be like happy and but, but spread joy, which believe, is the opposite of what you do. Believe here. it or not, in my regular I got it. life, I got it. I got I it. Would, I got it. I actually would I got like it. to do I something. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. That's great. You're going to dress up as Ronald fucking McDonald. There you go. <laughs> go to the Ronald McDonald house. We don't even need a wig. I'm going to dye that curly mop on Perfect. top red. Perfect. The whole outfit. I'm dyeing my fucking hair yeah, red. Yeah. Spray. The spray with the spray. Oh, okay. That's spray. perfect. Right. I'm going to get you a whole jumpsuit You're with welcome. the big goddamn shoes You're and do your face up and we're going to go walk the streets. Yes. And you're going to wave, wave the people. Get balloons out. There it you is. give them right. balloons. 100 helium balloons. 100 helium balloons. What are doing? Oh, I right. think he bartends a shift at Joey Rose's. Oh, <laughs> it's great. It's great. And I'll tell you one more thing. I'll tell you one more thing. Who would have helped that idea happen was Bobby Lee. So I'm glad it was me today yeah. and not Bobby Lee sitting here. I will You're dress welcome. up as Ronald McDonald. I will go into public with you oh, and I will hand so balloons. That's so fun. Right. That's my punishment. That is so fun. Uh, no, let's culminate it one, one hour behind the bar. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Yeah, that's fun. All right. <laughs> For the Taste Buds fans. I will bartend at Joey Rose's for one hour, dress as Ronald McDonald. That's it. I love it. That's what I'm doing. Great. That's the end of it. Great. Could balloons it's be involved? Said. No, no, no. You no, have no, to no, be there, no, though. But let's go on, on the street for like a little bit and hand out balloons. Yeah, in right front there. of it. In front I'll of it. Like, it a promotional. Of the bar. Yeah. like a promotional thing. All right. I'll do it in front of the bar. <laughs> I'll do it in front of the bar. Can we yes! Of, we got to get one of the Joey Rose's signs and he goes and spins Please it. Please let me know when this bridge. is happening. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop adding things to it. Like a subway sign? Like, <laughs> stop adding things to it. Uh, I'm, I'm handing out balloons in front of the bar and okay, then I'm bartending for an hour. That's and, it. No, and, there is wait, no end. Yes, there is an end. And we take a picture of you and that becomes your new social media Me like, like, like avatar. No. For a day. Why? No, for a day. Why? Because I don't want it's a to. Year, it's a year of loss. Hence punishment. I'm dressing up as a clown, you <laughs> Right. That's enough. And then they become your avatar. Why I'm not? No. Uh, sorry, you don't like comedy. Sorry, he doesn't like comedy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my problem. So I you don't, don't like want to lean into it. Get the most out of it. Milk the bit. <laughs> Why would you make your avatar? It's funny. I'm not making my <laughs> avatar me dress as a fucking clown. Guys. Write to the podcast on Instagram or Twitter and put it right all you want. Right to your fingers bleed. Make it I don't your give avatar. A shit. I'm not doing it. <laughs> right to your fingers fucking bleed like this one. I'm not doing it. I will dress up in <laughs> balloons out of the street and bartend at the bar, and all the fans can come to the bar for that hour that I'm bartending. That's fun. That's fair. Please That's let enough. me know when it is. Please let me know when this is happening. Right. I would love to come join you for a beverage. Do you serve ginger ale at your establishment? Yes, we do. Great. We do. We do. Oh. Bozo and a clown died too. Great. Bozo the Clown also died. All right, oh, I, I, I would turn it all in to make it the album cover of your next, oh. next session.
I'll tell you what. I'll Why fund, would I ever I'll, do that? You're like Pagliacci. You're a tragic clown. <laughs> just, just name, 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 name you, please. Name, name the your price. next album, Tragic Clown, <laughs> oh and just put you as Ronald no. McDonald on it, please. You no. don't want gold? I'm giving you gold. <laughs> That's not gold. It's gold. That's hacky. That's hacky. No, it's not, bro. That's hacky. Not within, not within use. No, this is, this is perfect for you. No. How about your music album? Huh? No. Guys. <laughs> It's gone too far. Joe, I agree. Joe doesn't like it's, gone it's gone too far. It's gone too far. It's gone too far. But this is a, this is what he does. He he gets a <laughs> bit and he thinks it's funny and he runs with it. You're telling me? Add fucking decades. Nausea. Exactly. Decades. I've been dealing exactly. with it. You're telling exactly. me? Yeah. And tell me something note, else I don't know. And on that note, I still love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still love you. You guys are both okay. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds.